It's been 25 years since the shooting at Heath High School. The victims and their families waiting for this day. The parole board ruling this morning that Michael Carneal will serve out his life sentence. Before the state parole board convicted school shooter Michael Carneal got the final call. Mr. Carneal, can you see and hear us okay? Every vote to deny parole, leaving Carneal serving out a life sentence. I entered my vote on September the 20th as well as a serve out. It will remain the same today. The vote came after days of waiting for survivors and families when a panel couldn't come to a decision last week. It definitely uh, was worth it. I mean, it, it was hard and, you know, left us really wondering what they were thinking. Christina Ellagood lost her sister Nicole, one of the three students Corneal shot and killed. She calls the decision a sigh of relief. She didn't think she'd get. And I thought because he was 14 when he committed the crime that they would not consider having him serve out rest of his sentence. Last week, arguing for his release, Carneal told board members he could do good in the world, but still hears voices telling him to harm himself. It is something that is inside my mind. This is produced by my mind. Keith High was one of the first mass school shootings. Ellagood believes the board's choice leaves an impact. This hearing did really matter, and it could definitely affect um, other shooters. She's not only looking to the state's future, but to her own. We've had this on our shoulders for the last 25 years, and knowing this day was going to come, and now that it's here, it's really hard to um, know what to expect. After 25 years, Ella Good and the other survivors can at least know this chapter. Um, it is the decision of the parole board today to allow you to serve out the remainder of your sentence. Thank you, sir. It's finally closed. In Frankfurt, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11, on your side.